thank you for the warm introduction. Uh, indeed, my name is Alex Dewin, and um, I work at a digital agency in Toronto uh, called There for Interactive. Um, so we have uh, been working with Drupal uh, for a long time, 12 years in fact, and Drupal has done some great things for us. When we first started using Drupal, it was um, an enabler for us to get into bigger projects, uh, to really leverage the work that uh, thousands of, of contributors at the time um, have put into that project. And uh, we were able to build, um, you know, work with some of the most uh, recognizable brands in Canada. So you may recognize some of the brands here. So National Gallery Canada, um, you know, uh, the Canadian Securities Exchange, uh, Second Cup, and a number of universities. Um, so about six years ago, um, we, uh, we sort of built a Jamstack website by mistake. So <laughs> what we had done uh, for a particular client, they, uh, they had asked us to build a, um, a site very rapidly and quickly. And um, the way that we thought you know, we would best approach that is with a static site generator. So we used DocPad, and we were able to build uh, the site within weeks, which was great. And then the client turned around afterwards and said, oh, by the way, we also need to be able to manage the content on this site. So then we thought, OK, well, what do we do? Do we go back to Drupal and use a Drupal theming layer? Or do we try and figure out a way that we can use Drupal for the content management uh, capabilities and tie it into the existing static site generator that we were using? So that's what we decided to do. Uh, it was a bold move. I would say uh, lukewarm results. The technology wasn't quite where it needed to be uh, at the time, um, but still a good entrance into this decoupled uh, zone and uh, by happenstance, but a good happenstance. Uh, last year uh, with Drupal 8, it's an API first system, so we were able to build a fully decoupled web application using React on the front end. And, um, and that worked out excellent. And this year was our very first uh, full uh, Jamstack project, which is what uh, I would like to talk to you guys about today. So uh, Longo's is, uh, is a high-end grocery store. Uh, they have 5,000 plus employees. Uh, they're in Canada, so they service uh, the greater Toronto area. Um, and they came to us with ambitious goals. So, they wanted us to um, deliver a world-class website um, and mobile experience and uh, utilize uh, modern technology to prepare, um, prepare themselves for uh, their ambit ambitious uh, future goals. So before uh, I get into uh, where we went, uh, let's just have a quick look at what they came to us with. So this was their existing website, so it was not responsive. Um, it had legacy technology supporting the site. It was a tightly coupled architecture, and it was super slow. So it became very, very obvious um, that a complete re-architecture was a requirement. Beyond the re-architecture, um, the landscape, the grocery landscape, has is, is changed dramatically over the years. It's no longer uh, acceptable um, to not you know, have technology as a foundation to customer experience. Uh, it's, it's no longer just about the grocery experience. It's not about going to the grocery store, pick up your groceries and going away. Um, you know, if, if you need evidence for that, just look at Amazon Go and look at Walmart. Okay, so along the way, um, we had some feedback from customers to help guide us uh, towards the solution. Um, not surprisingly, customers don't want to wait around for websites to load or mobile apps to load, so performance is, is, is key. Uh, they expect the first class um, experience. Their expectations are aligned with the best in the industry. And you, know, you, you can't tell somebody, well, you know, we're not Amazon. It doesn't matter. They still expect it, right? And um, they want to be able to do everything digital. So they want to be able to book their classes. They want to be able to um, track their loyalty points. And they want to be able to buy turkeys online. On the business side, um, the business came to us with um, ambitious goals for timelines. Um, we needed to interoperate with their IT team closely, so have them part of our team as well. And uh, we had to control the costs. Um, so to do that, we have to 
we have to look at the tech, uh, the tech complexity. So we needed to find a stack that was simpler to work with, um, than, certainly than what they had, but could still integrate with legacy systems that are requirements for the solution. So rather than embeds and tight coupling, we were thinking API first. Um, on the team, we needed team members to be able to largely work on independent tasks. So if somebody was working on the front end, then somebody can work on the back, back end independently of each other. So decoupling even the workflows for our teams. Uh, we're still working in an agile fashion, but we want to be able to dictate when these two streams um, couple to, uh, to bring those two tracks together. Um, and of course, we need a technology infrastructure that'll deliver flexibility, performance, and reliability. So uh, in just over five months, uh, we built a solution that integrates with their CRM system, uh, and has registration, login capabilities, uh, integrated e-commerce carting, um, a loyalty program where people can check their points and spend their points in the cart as well. Uh, they can book classes online and, and track those classes, look at the history of those classes, and yes, they can buy a turkey online. Um, so we used uh, uh, Drupal and React for the dynamic components of this solution and, of course, for the content management. And then we utilized Gatsby and Netlify uh, to align uh, Jamstack uh, principles and workflows. So uh, why, why Netlify? Why Gatsby? Why does Jamstack work so well in this solution? So we believe it's uh, the best stack to meet the performance and security requirements, uh, especially given the, uh, the time constraints that we had and uh, some of the um, the other team constraints that we had. Um, so it allows us to be more agile and work more agile and work with other team members. For instance, uh, ramping up a new team member on our side or on the client side is much easier when, uh, when using Jamstack than you know, if, if we were to go with a, a traditional Drupal build, it's pretty much impossible to ramp somebody up in, in less than six months, really. Um, and of course, uh, Netlify was a great partner uh, worked well with Longos and worked well with us and, uh, and gave us a lot of confidence moving forward. Um, okay, so if anyone wants to check out the site, uh, you can go to www.longos.com. And uh, let's, let's quickly have a look at some of the results. So the site has been live for about a month and a half now. So we have some data that's come back. Uh, not surprisingly, performance is, uh, is a huge uptick. So the original site is on the top layer, uh, and performance went from 15 on the Lighthouse metric um, to, a, uh, to a whopping 86, and we're confident that we can bring that up even higher with a few things that we're, we're looking at right now. Um, so let's circle back to the users and, and their needs. So obviously with the performance increase, they don't have to wait around for their pages to load. They can, you know, if you go to the site, you'll see it's, it's almost instantaneous loading. And we've seen an uptick in, uh, in all traffic across uh, desktop, tablet, mobile, and we've seen an increase in session duration and a decrease in drop-offs, um, with mobile being the standout. So more people are moving to mobile to go to uh, longos.com. On the business side, um, the business is trending towards a 2x increase in their online meal kit sales from last year. So these are real you know, ROI dollars that they can see um, after only a month and a half for the site being live. Uh, internally, they have their own IT department. They have internal resources on the dev side. And um, this, the workflow is such that they can actually be able to make changes themselves and deploy with confidence and ease. And the platform, uh, we all agree, uh, is now in place for future ambitious projects, and innovation and scalability. Thank you very much. Thank you.